Hello Pisces. So welcome. I am Pisces Intuition. This is your weekly reading. So Pisces, we're going to take a look and see what comes in, what comes out, ah, what comes through. Okay. So this deck does not want to shuffle. I'm going to try one more time. And if not, we are going to get a different deck. Okay. So now it's shuffling. So as I was saying, Pisces, um, this is your weekly reading going to see what comes out, what comes through, and what you need to know. These readings are timeless, so just whenever you find your way to this reading is when you need to hear that message. Um, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. This is also energy, so again, you know, take which part sounds more like you and what part sounds like your person. All right, Pisces, let's get us some good news. Definitely, definitely need it. All right, Pisces. <laughs> Beautiful. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Page of Wands. Ten of Cups. Justice. Three of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Bottom of the deck. There you are. Queen of Cups. All right. So, Pisces. Um, I know this is a Queen of Cups. Okay. Top of the deck. Tower. The Ten of Pentacles. And then the Four of Swords. So, something definitely kind of caused some chaos. Um, walls to crumble. Foundation to crumble. Definitely taking out some security or some kind of happiness or abundance. Um, causing you to, Four of Swords, like I said, go into that um, being on the mend, you know, kind of healing, taking some time out, um, kind of withdrawing. I know I've personally, you know, gone through some things that I've kind of had to withdraw just from a lot of things right now. Um, so definitely, like I said, on the mend. Um, for you, Pisces, let me scoot this up a bit so it's... Hopefully all of it is in the frame, so you can see. Okay. And then bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. What I'm getting the most from that Queen of Cups is using your intuition. This is really kind of reassessing emotions. Let me show you guys the card so you can see it. Beautiful card. Um, yeah, I'm seeing something. See how that flower is kind of lit up? That's really catching my eye. I keep getting um, something in bloom. So something is blooming. Something is, could be coming into fruition. Like I said, this is going to require your intuition. Um, Pisces, you may be feeling like something is coming in or something is happening. This could be involving a connection with somebody. Hmm. All right, so to start off the reading here, we have the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands. And if you look at these two, side by side, the Queen of Wands, again, holding that sunflower, I keep getting something in bloom. So this could be, you know, a, a new love, um, or this could be kind of rekindling something with this Queen of Wands and this Page of Wands, because I'm getting there is an age difference between you and your person. I'm also getting that your person could be coming in with some kind of an apology or wanting to open up the lines of communication. Um, it feels very almost kind of standoffish between you and your person, Pisces. Maybe there hasn't been much communication between you two, um, like no communication at all for some of you, maybe a little bit here and there, but I'm getting it's very like standoffish. Almost like you make the first move. No, you make the first move. Well, you're in the wrong, so you should make the first move. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so going back, because I'm really kind of drawn to this page of wands here. Um, you know, pages, they are, you know, they bring in good news. Um, definitely a messenger of the heart. Like I said, I keep getting there could be an age difference between you and your person. Um, this could even be up to like a 10 year age difference, you know, uh, give or take. Um, but there's a lot of potential here and it feels like this person is, this page here is, I don't want to say naive, but just kind of like immature, especially with feelings. Um, 
you know, this could be a connection that's already kind of been, you know, we've been here before, you know, Pisces, this could be someone from your past, or this could be a new connection. It feels like something from your past, but, you know, it could go both ways, <clears throat> in, all honesty, in all honesty, because I keep feeling like something's in bloom. So this could be someone new that some of you have met, and for some of you, this is someone from your past. But yeah, it's like this person is really kind of studying things. He's really, you know, page of wands. You know, well, all pages are kind of like very studious. Um, you know, they are, they, they study things. They, um, you know, they're still learning. You know, they're in that learning process, you know, because they are that younger, more kind of immature energy. So this page of wands, he's really kind of just studying things. Um, I think he's learning about emotions. I think he's trying to figure out how, and I say he because I'm referring to the picture on the card. But it could be a she as well. Take it how it resonates. But, you know, this person is really just kind of figuring out their feelings. You know, they see potential in this relationship. They're enthusiastic about it. You know, definitely because, you know, Paige, I mean, that's that fire energy, that passion. Yeah, and it's like something has either been confirmed to them or something is pushing them towards you. Because you see how the page is kind of looking over here and the Queen of Wands is looking over at the page. Hmm. You know, Queen of Wands, I mean, she's, you know, she knows. I mean, she's fiery. She's passionate. You know, she shines bright when she walks into the room. She holds everybody's attention. Um, you know, she also has that intuitive nature like the Queen of Cups does. Hmm. Yeah, and it's like this Queen of Cups. I have to go back to the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Um, like I said, because this really feels like a very intuitive connection. So for some of you, you may not be having any type of verbal communication, like, um, you know, text messaging, phone calls, um, you know, things like that here in the physical. But it's like almost there's like a telepathic connection because it's almost like Pisces, like you're feeling this connection either coming back around or coming back in. It's like you're sensing this person very strong connection, you know, powerful, uh, magnetic, you know, lots of chemistry, lots of passion. I mean, I can't get away from that fire energy here. I'm just, you know, the gaze. Hmm. Okay. But definitely, like I said, this has potential. This is, you know, that 10 of cups is right here behind you, behind both of you. You know, she's looking towards the 10 of cups. This person kind of turned their backs. That's why I keep wondering if this person is from your past, because it feels like a connection that's been here before, but they kind of turn their backs on it. It's like this person wasn't seeing the full commitment or wasn't seeing the full um, chemistry here, the full bond within this connection. And it's like they walked away from it. But it's like now they're studying it. Now something has kind of led them back to this connection. Something's kind of gotten them back in gear to really kind of focus on this. And it's like dots are kind of connecting back to you and back towards this connection here with this Ten of Cups. You know, that emotional abundance, that happiness that maybe they can't find anywhere else. With this Justice card here, um, you know, I've been seeing quite a few of my readings. You know, we've got a lot going on, you know, with the planets. Um, going retrograde here, you know, Saturn, Venus are the main ones for me, uh, kind of coming back in. Although, you know, June, Mercury goes retrograde as well. But right now, the main ones I'm focusing on is Saturn <clears throat> and then Venus. And that's because that has a lot to do with karma. And then, you know, Venus, of course, matters of the heart, um, you know, leading us kind of towards, you know, reunions as well. So, you know, this could be a reunion. Like I said, this could be someone new. Hmm. But yeah, justice, definitely kind of things coming back around. This person could have left for, if this is like um, someone from your past, they could have possibly left you for a karmic relationship. For others of you, this is balancing the scales. This is kind of getting what you're owed. Um, and of course, you know, karma does not, don't freak out. That does not always have to be a negative thing. You know, there's a lot of good things in the world that people do. There's a lot of good people out there. And... You know, when I say they're going to get their karma, you know, there's, like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. It is a good thing as well. There's good karma that goes around too. You know, there's good luck. You know, we have it right here, the will of fortune as well. So I'm sensing that this karma coming in for you is not bad at all. It's just moving you forward. It's moving you towards a new opportunity, which 
I'm getting is like a very strong love connection here. This could be twin flame. I'm getting twin flame reunion for some of you. Um, for a lot of you, actually, uh, soulmate connection. Like I'm, I'm getting that fiery, that passion. Like I said, very drawn to that. Hmm. Yeah. And then with this wheel of fortune, you know, this is talking about divine timing here, you know, kind of having that, that hand in all of this. It's like where this connection, where you didn't think either you were going to meet this person, you know, find someone that you would be drawn to like this, you know, divine timing says, you know, well, now it's, it's time for you to meet this person. Now it's time for you to get serious about someone to get that passion, to get that love in your life, to get that emotional abundance, to have this, you know, new huge opportunity because you've earned it. And for others of you, like I said, this is someone returning from your past, a twin flame connection, soulmate connection, you know, who once turned their backs on, you know, this 10 of cups on this happiness, on you, on this connection, they're coming back around again because they've learned, you know, it's like they're being placed back here. They've gone through some things that is, you know, dots are just connecting back to you, back to this connection. And, you know, the will of fortune, like I said, once again, you know, it's that divine intervention kind of placing you guys back, you know, this at this moment in time together leading you towards new adventures or a new journey together. Hmm. All right, Pisces. Um, like I said, really trust your intuition. There's a lot of, yeah, intuitive speak here. Okay, so Pisces. Um, I have these twin flame angel number cards. So we're going to take a few of them, just kind of see what comes out for Pisces, what messages they need to know. I get a lot of people telling me that they've been seeing certain numbers. What does that mean? So this is just, you know, a good way to kind of get, like I said, extra messages or to give you some kind of confirmation maybe for what you've been seeing. Okay, one more, please. One more for Pisces. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have 444. The universe fully supports you as you continue your path towards enlightenment. Yeah, because Pisces, okay, and you're getting four. So it definitely feels like you are feeling confident. You're feeling good. You're ready. Yeah, you're ready for this, for this three of wands, for those ships to come in. All right, so then we have 101. So caring for your overall health is a necessary tool on your journey. Love yourself a little more today. Yeah, like I said, it feels like you're getting that confidence back. It's like you're stepping back into that. So that's always a plus. So karmic cycles are now coming to a close. Allow all parties to absorb the necessary lessons for growth. And it definitely feels like your person, Pisces, could have... Um, like I said, turn their back on this connection for a karmic relationship. So, you know, those karmic cycles are coming to a close here with, you know, justice, with Saturn going retrograde. Um, and, you know, so now we're learning lessons. Like I said, this person felt like, you know, they were studying something. They were kind of focusing on something here. And so, like I said, bringing in good news, seeing something, getting some kind of insight here. All right, then we have 1010. There's a divine plan in order. Let go of your need to know future events. Isn't that a Pisces? Um, <laughs> so, you know, again, going back to the divine, like I said, it really felt like, you know, spirit, the universe, the divine has their hand in this situation here for you, Pisces, with this will of fortune being present, as well as a justice card being present as well. Um, like I said, it, it just feels like, you know, the divine has this, you know, you don't need to know everything, just go with the flow, know that there's a bigger plan than what you can see, what you're able to know, and it's all going to fall into place and it's all going to make sense for you. We'll all get there when it's time. All right, so then we have the last card of 2424. Be patient as your angels are working to reveal your life's purpose and mission to you. All right, so definitely some big things coming in for Pisces here. Absolutely beautiful. All right. So Pisces, let's get some angel answers or romance, I mean. So give me some romance for Pisces. All right, so we have the card of attraction. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept helps from others. 
you know, as Pisces, we tend to help everyone with their problems. You know, we can take on the world's problems, but at the end of the day, we tend to close up, we clam up, and we don't let anybody in on what's going on with us. So, you know, that's just kind of like saying, you know, make sure you're talking to someone. You don't have to keep closed up. Um, you know, it's, I know it's a lot, but... It helps. Deception. So someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Like I said, yes. Going back to this um, this page of wands and then the queen of wands, like I said, it really felt like this page of wands turned their back on this connection, on this happiness, on this love, on their emotions. Um, and was kind of deceptive about it because at the time, like I said, they could have left you for a karmic person or, you know, at the time they were just kind of deceiving themselves, not honest with themselves about how they really feel towards you. Um, or, you know, how strong of a connection this bond really is. So pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Pisces, I do feel like you're getting a lot of signs. This could be in, um, songs. This could be, you know, again, in numbers, um, dreams. Definitely. I know my dreams have been, uh, <laughs> they've been something else here lately. I'm getting all kinds of messages. So definitely pay attention to your dreams as well. Um, but pay attention to the red flags. I'm not getting anything bad other than just you feel something coming. Like I said, it's that intuitive feeling because I was getting like a lot of um, intuitive speak here for you. And so, like I said, you're getting a lot of feelings here. You're getting that sense of something is coming in, something is coming back, like something. And, you know, like I said, you're a very intuitive sign, Pisces. So definitely pay attention to those signs. And then retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world, which is what, you know, I was talking about too earlier about just taking some time with that four of swords, just kind of being on the mend, taking time to yourself, really just kind of focusing on you, um, gaining up, you know, your confidence, just kind of regrouping yourself and then getting back out there. But Pisces, remember, you need to take some time, um, you know, self-love, self-care, you know, things like that. All right. And I definitely feel like once this person comes back, I can see the both of you kind of retreating and just enjoying each other, you know, just enjoying the connection and just kind of blocking out the world for a bit. All right. So Pisces, let's get some, um, love oracles here. Tell me what Pisces needs to know about love. Okay. And that is way too many. messages for Pisces. That's two. I want one more, please. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm actually going to take these two on top as well. Um, healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. This is more for you, Pisces. Um, like I said, that intuitive, that telepathic connection between you and your twin flame, definitely it's there's needs to be some healing there. Somebody's going through something, maybe both of you, but definitely some healing taking place. Um, passion, I had to take it because of all the, um, like I said, the fire energy popping out to me, you know, all that passion. So a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present, so enjoy it. Um, if it's not present, it de present, it definitely will be. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, that is a lot. Um, deep in your heart, you already know the answer, so do what feels right. Again, that intuitive feeling, Pisces, trust it. We have this one, sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So yeah, again, that fire, that passion. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. Like I said, I keep getting something big is coming in for you guys. Um, yeah as far as relationships go. So give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your truly heart desires. Beautiful. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Yeah, and as I'm reading this, I keep getting the mental image of like a fish, you know, just swimming, you know, not going against the current, but just, you know, swimming with it, just being led, being guided. So my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Beautiful. I knew there was a reason so many cards came out. Um, Pisces, like I said, definitely a twin flame connection that's going to be reunited here. Twin flame soulmate. Yeah. 
a secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Again, oh my gosh. Confirmation like crazy, am I right? This person turning their back on happiness, turning their backs on emotional abundance, on this connection, um, but definitely loving you more than what they are expressing. Like I said, going back to that deception, lying to themselves, lying to you about this connection and how much they actually truly feel for you. So, all right. Well, Pisces, that is what I have for you for this week. I do hope this helps your situation. I know that was long, so I apologize. Um, but thank you so very much for spending time with me. I hope this helps. And until next time, take care.